Ladies and gentlemen, we're at it again. We have more arrivals from overseas. We have two separate teams. I will do these individually. However, this is just gonna be combined into one video. So, you know the drill. I'm gonna unbox uh, this lot first, and then we'll have a look at this lot over here. So, here we go. There you go, there's our first look at this racing team from the States. They are called Blair Auto Racing. Good luck guys, you're sending two friggin' hot rods that I absolutely love, and I can't wait to get these on the track and race them for you. They have also provided a ton of information in this letter, uh, which is wonderful, and it's probably just for my eyes only. It is a wonderful read, and I thank you so much. Uh, the other thing is, they have requested these cars be returned after racing at their cost, which is uh, absolutely wonderful that uh, you have requested to do that. Some people do choose to leave the cars here and uh, some like their cars back. If you do require your cars back, please provide all the information in a letter or an email or both. And at the end of the season, I will make contact with you and they will be sent back. So first things first, I reckon, let's have a closer look at these cars. First up, we have the Mod Rod. We've seen this race on the track. This goes really well. I think Toon Tracks Racing was uh, racing this one. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, I often am, but this races really well. Uh, great selection. The driver for Blair Auto Racing is the Grandmaster. Haha, <laughs> MC's gonna have a field day with your name on the track. The Grandmaster driving the hot rod. I really hope that you rip up Mount Western Raceway and clean everyone up and get to the top of the ladder. The Grand Master, driving the hot rod for Blair Auto Racing. <laughs> Let's look at the next one. This next one here is called High Roller. Never seen this before. Skinny front wheels, nice big fats on the back. They go really well. Um, Mav T is the driver for the High Roller for Blair Auto Racing. Another cracker of a car. I reckon you've got a great selection here. Your team is fit and ready to go and to race in hot rods right here on Mount Western Raceway. So there you go, Blair Auto Racing with their two entries into the 2020 Hot Rods Club Championship. Thanks guys. Next up we have Blue Line Racing all the way from the States again. Tim, thank you so much from Blue Line Racing. They finally got here mate, they did take a while. Uh, they didn't get lost, they did turn up and they're sitting right here, right near Mount Western Raceway and ready to race. Now, what we've got here, we have a, a, a custom that's uh, about to race in the custom starting up end of June, a couple of weeks, and we have some stocks. So let's get in and have a closer look. So first off, You'll notice there's two 16 uh, Bucati uh, Chirons, or is it Chiron? I guess it depends where you're from. I'm from Adelaide, remember? And I'm sure you guys will uh, suss me out if I've got it incorrect. Y2, um, Tim wants to um, race this one under his racing name, uh, Blue Line Racing, and the other one he said, uh, it's a gift for me to do what I want. So what I wanna do is add this to uh, Blue Line Racing uh, team and we're gonna find a driver for this one. So a driver will be required for uh, this other Bacchetti going forward. Let's have a closer look at this. Um, I've never seen this, I've never raced one of these. Um, it's got quite a nice little bit of weight on that. How low does that sit? A uh, little bit of glare there. Um, that's gonna be fine. Beautiful looking casting, uh, nice big wheels. I think that's gonna really handle Mount Western Raceway very, very well, mate. Next up, we have this little one here. This is the, uh, the Viper, the Dodge Viper. Um, beautiful cars, these ones. Absolutely love them. Look at those wheels go. Very nice. This is, uh, this is for the stocks, by the way. This is, uh, he's called this one the Blue Line Beast. So this will race uh, in stocks, and um, I think that's gonna go extremely well. I just feel like it's just gonna be really fast around those turns. Um, I don't know, it just has that sort of shape and feel about it as I'm sort of holding it. So good luck, mate, on that one. I hope that uh, you are successful and you get up on the leaders board in the uh, Blue Line Beast racing for Blue Line Racing. Last but not least, we have this one here. Now this is uh, for customs, as I said, which is starting up end of June, probably 1st of July. Um, this one here is called Mexican Muscle. It's a 67 Chevelle. It's a custom. 
It's got some nice weight in it, it's around about 112 grams. And uh, look at those wheels go, wow. Can't wait for customs to start. This has been a long uh, term uh, plan and dream of mine and we're almost there now that we have the new track build here. And uh, so customs are gonna start up very soon. Customs will race, will race once a week and uh, more than likely it'll go up every Sunday uh, American time this time, not Aussie time. But uh, I'll post it probably Sunday afternoon so when you guys are cracking your uh, beverage of your choice or uh, just chilling out around home, uh, you'll be able to watch the customs in your afternoon uh, in the States. So there you go. That is the uh, uh, Mexican muscle um, for Blue Line Racing. Good on you, Tim. That is a wonderful collection that you have sent through. I thank you so much. Uh, it's a big effort for everyone to send cars in and uh, good on you, mate. You guys are legends. I'm amazed at uh, your generosity and your perfect selection of vehicles that you have sent through to Australia to race in hot rods and customs right here on Hot Car Track and Mount Western Raceway. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.